up what is up what is up i'm back i'm back i'm back y'all i feel like i have uploaded so many videos this week i feel like it's only been like four i did the brandon blackwood i did the ulta i did the candle organizing and i did the I forgot what the other one was that I did, but I've done a good amount of videos and I just keep cranking them out because y'all, I am so close to getting my channel back monetized and I've already told y'all the story, so I'm not gonna get into it, but continue to watch. And this was an overwhelming vote on my community tab to give you guys my Sephora favorites and my Sephora haul in general. So that is what we are doing today. Okay y'all, so outfit details. So my jumpsuit, this is a jumpsuit. Um, I did get this from a black owned shop called Sugar Popped. Um, I got it last summer, but honestly, they're always dropping really cute new stuff. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a haul or video of some of my favorite um, just little boutiques and things to shop at online, but I will show you guys what it looks like. Since I was not back on YouTube during the Sephora VIB sale, um, some of these items are from the VIB sale. I want to say one or two of the items in here is from the VIB sale, just so I could have, just so I can show you guys what I got. But most of the things that I picked up during the VIB sale were actually uh, fragrances that like usually never go on sale, which. If you guys don't know, the VIB sale is honestly the best time to shop for like fragrances and higher priced items because depending on um, like if you are, for example, like if you're Rouge, you get 20% off. So it ends up, you know, really putting a dent in some of your prices. Um, but of course there's different tiers and different times of year you can shop. So hopefully the next VIB sale, I will still be active on here and we can do a whole chat about that, but I won't get too into it. So I did not include any fragrances in this haul or my Ulta haul just because I think I'm going to do a whole separate summer fragrance video. And I didn't want these to be too long because there already is so much makeup and skincare products anyway. So I was like, let me just do the fragrances separately. So y'all be on the lookout for a summer perfume video that is on the way, that is coming. But without further ado, y'all, let's get into this haul. Um, I did not include the empties in this video because I think I'm just gonna do like a huge empties video of June and July. But um, some of my empties are actually repurchases in this haul. So I will try to remember to mention that. But if not, I will just talk about it in an empties video. So yeah. three bags here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to grab and go. How about that? We're going to grab and go. Okay. So this is the Youth to the People Kale Green Tea Spinach and Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. So there's the bottle, y'all. It does actually come with a pump as well. Um, but when you purchase it, you know it comes like this now i will say when i originally bought this y'all i've got the you to the people like little mini it's like a little kit i'll put a picture of it over here um but it's like a little kit that you can get to try all of their products so i got that and it was like a small one of this y'all when i tell y'all i love this so much if you have sensitive skin if you have acne prone skin if you just have skin that just gets easily irritated this is such a great cleanser um because it cleanses your face without like stripping your skin of like your natural oils and it also just puts a lot of healthy things into your skin so like if you've been out in the sun all day if you've been wearing a lot of makeup if your skin has been acting up um i find that since i have acne prone skin and skin that's just prone to like scarring and hyperpigmentation my skin reacts best when i have like a very neutral like sen like super super you know s sensitive skin friendly type of cleanser um that doesn't have a whole lot going on because when i use cleansers that have a lot of targeted ingredients in them i already use products in my skincare regimen that have target ingredients so i just feel like it when i have too many actives in my skin my skin just it breaks out or I just get irritated. So I prefer to have a very simple, simple cleanser. And this is definitely that. Um, this nutrient rich gel is loaded with cold pressed superfood extracts from kale and spinach to effectively cleanse, <laughs> to effectively cleanse skin, remove buildup in pores and balance pH without drying. So y'all, like I said, this definitely does that. Like when I wash my face with this, my, my face has like a healthy glow and it just feels ready for like, whatever other product i'm about to put on it so this is a little guy um i do actually have the full size of this but this is the urban decay all nighter 
um i just had a travel one just to kind of spray like i had it in my bag this is actually gonna supposed to be an empties video because it's about empty there's literally like a little bit in here but um yeah so i mean this honestly this is probably my go-to setting spray um it's just a tried and true classic even when i stray away and try new things this is just something that i always go to and i usually always have a travel size of this like in my bag or in my purse just to kind of spritz on my face or whatever when i feel like i need to like blot and then like reset my makeup so yeah tried and true definitely have the full size of this but i definitely will be repurchasing a um another travel size so since we're talking about urban decay um i did pick up the new all-nighter which is the vitamin c uh the vitamin c long lasting makeup setting spray with vitamin c and cactus flower water it says all day wear and hydrating um i have not tried this one yet but i mean if it's the original with vitamin c honestly i feel like my skin is going to love it um my skin reacts very very well to vitamin c like my skin's favorite ingredient is probably vitamin c so anything with vitamin c on it I'm usually a fan of so a fresh take on all nighter infused with vitamin c and cactus flower water this powerful formula helps stop makeup meltdowns vibe check pass pro tip it can even be used on bare skin or before makeup so y'all i'm interested to use this on bare skin or like on days when i do like a super light like tinted uh moisturizer and see how that works and also y'all my sephora rep um, I was in Sephora maybe like a few days ago and I was just kind of spraying the perfumes and there was a Tom Ford rep in there and we were talking about some of the Tom Ford fragrances and I was like, honestly, girl, I love Tom Ford fragrances, but they just do not last. And she was like, yeah, that's a common, you know, issue that we have and that we, you know, get from customers. But one of the Sephora reps came over and was just like, I found an issue for, I found a solution for that. And so we both were kind of like, this person <laughs> told me and i really wish i could remember their name told me y'all spray the all nighter setting spray on your pulse points before you spray your perfume your perfume will last all day i promise y'all i promise y'all like i tried it i tried it and i tried it before i left the store and sprayed the tom ford lost cherry on me and i was like this perfume has never lasted this long on me and that's part of the reason why i took it back and <laughs> took it out of my collection so I kind of want to go pick up Top Fort Lost Cherry now just so I could like have it back in my collection. But I have two dupes of it, so I really don't need it, at least not right now. So maybe when I go through the dupes, um, I will go and pick it up. But yeah, perfume hack. If you have any perfumes that do not last, yeah, do that. I don't know if I'm late or what, but yeah. It's another new pickup for me. This is the Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA plus AHA Sicilic Acid. Sicilic Serum, which is clarifying and retexturizing. Um, this is supposed to be, well, I'll just read it. It says, reveals smoother, even skin texture with this gently clarifying, non-sticky Sicilic Acid Serum. The pillowy water gel formula clears blemish-prone skin throughout exfoliation and quickly absorbs without leaving it feeling overly tight and dry. Um, it's 2% BHA, 1% AHA, 3.5% strawberry, 3% azelaic acid, and... 0.5% succinic acid. Um, so yeah, y'all, I honestly, I play around with serums a lot just because like I said, I try to keep my cleanser pretty neutral, pretty basic. I try to keep my toner pretty neutral, pretty basic. And then I kind of play around with exfoliants and just serums in general. Um, so just to let you guys know, like I have acne prone skin and I have skin that is like prone to scarring, prone to dark marks and hyperpigmentation. So a lot of products that I try, I try to find things that are good with fading dark marks, getting, you know, dealing with texture and things like that. Um, and my skin reacts really, really well to azaleic acid as well as vitamin C. So this has some really good reviews. Um, I'm excited to let you guys know how I like them. Speaking of Glow Recipe, the next item that I have is the the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen. Um, it says glowing radiance plus protection. And this says a lightweight glow boosting daily SPF that provides broad spectrum protection with a blend of gentle reef safe and mineral chemical sunscreen actives formulated with niacinamide to brighten skin and help even skin tone, soothing aloe and hydrating hyaluronic acid 
for an overall dewy finish. So y'all, anything that says glow or dewy finish or bronzy, anything like that, y'all, sign me up. Because like I keep telling you guys, I work outside this summer. So it's like, I try to do super, super, super minimal like makeup looks or tinted moisturizers. And if I can find some that have SPF in them, I prefer to wear those. But I do like sunscreens that I can wear that give me a natural glow on the days that I do not wear SPF, on the days that I do not wear foundation or any type of tint. Um, and this is another one that has really great reviews. Um, it is SPF 50. And as I told you guys in my last, in my Ulta haul, um, I do prefer to have products that are SPF 50 and above, especially on my face, just because I need a lot more protection. And by the way, y'all, this is a quick sidetrack. So I know it's a common misconception, at least among people of color, that a lot of people are still in the mindset that we do not need sunscreen. Um, and I will say this, people think that we do not need sunscreen because they feel like, you know, they don't want to get they're like, oh, I'm gonna get darker, it's fine. I'm gonna get a tan, I wanna get a tan. It's not necessarily about your skin getting darker because even when I wear SPF, obviously I still get tan. Like that's not gonna necessarily change. It's about making sure you are basically prolonging the, prolonging the health and longevity of your skin. So for example, if you are going outside and you are not wearing SPF, those UV rays are breaking down your skin's top barrier, the top layer of your skin barrier every single day. So what happens is if you're going home at night, washing your face and putting all these really great products on your skin, especially retinols, retinoids, any type of actives, and then the next day you're going outside without an SPF, basically your skin, <laughs> the sun is breaking down all of those products that are on the top layer of your skin and basically making them totally ineffective. So if you are always wondering why your products aren't working as well as they should or you try something and it's like oh this isn't doing anything it's probably because number one you aren't exfoliating enough but number two you probably are not wearing um, enough SPF or a high enough um, SPF so I will say definitely reapply every two hours especially if you are outside um, and just make sure you have a decent SPF like at least an SPF 35 or above y'all but if you are outside you really do need to be thinking about like SPFs in the 40s and 50s. So yeah, that's my mini rant for the day. Next item that I'm going to talk about is the YSL Rouge Per Couture Satin Lip Stain. Um, this is in the color Fuchsia Heroin. So this is number seven. Um, I think this is actually sold out. So I did pick this up like I think I picked this up during VIB, but I am wearing it on my lips right now. I am I have it layered with one of the NYX lingerie lipsticks, like one of the more mattifying ones, because this is definitely satin. Like I really prefer this over something that's matte. Um, but I do really, really like it. Like it lasts really long. It's super, super moisturizing, super like lustrous. I just think that this works best on top of something that's matte because it just kind of like Adds a if you have like a matte lipstick or something that feels a little bit too drying, this is definitely a great option. Um, and let me just show you guys what it looks like. So it's a cute, it's a really, really pretty pink. Um, I will show it swatched out on a lighter color right here so you guys can see. But I definitely want to pick up more of these. Um, I have not really tried any of what too many of YSL's lip products. And this is my first time trying this one. So I definitely wanna try some of their more um, matte lipsticks. So yeah. So on to um, a product that I have test tried and tested and repurchased and repurchased and repurchased. I would have some of these in an empties video, but I go through them, I go through them so fast that I honestly forget to save them. But these are the Fenty Gloss Bombs. Um, I have the four main colors that I use here, I have still yet to get the hot chocolate one and I thought I picked it up, but I ended up picking up something else. So I will show that later on in the haul. But um, the colors that I have is uh, Fenty Glow and I will insert a picture of them swatched over here, which I use this one all the time. Um, literally, I use this one all the time on top of my nude and pink type of like ombre lip colors or like a brown liner type of look and as you I don't know if you guys can see but this one is almost done so it'll probably be in an empty video and then the other pinkish um, brownish one that I love is fussy this one has like a little bit more of like those like silver type of like sparkles and this one I'm I'm pretty sure I'm almost out of this one too so as y'all can see I literally use these all the time like 
You can use them by themselves. They're great for like a layering type of look on your lip. Um, it's just a really great moisturizing lip gloss. So, and then the last two that I got are um, Glass Slipper. Um, I actually have never gotten this, this particular color, um, but I literally, I always like to have a clear gloss, whether I'm using it by itself or I'm using it like on top of something else. I love a clear gloss, so I'm very happy to have Fenty's version in my collection. And the last one I have is the Diamond Milk. So this is like a sheer um, type of like milky, like champagne-y type of color. So I usually don't wear this one by itself just because it looks really weird, but it looks really great on top of like matte type of colors. Um, so, or even on top of like lustrous lip colors, I just feel like by itself, it just looks really, really weird. So I always layer this one, but you can kind of see it has a really nice like opal type of look. Um, so yeah. Okay, y'all. We finished with one bag. Okay, so let's get into the next one. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this one I think has mostly makeup. Um... So this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Um, I usually use this on my brows pretty much every day. Um, it is easier for me to use when I have my eyebrows done. Um, but as you guys can see, it's, it's a little dirty because <laughs> I use it a lot. But um, I have also washed this with Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap and it has held up really well. Like the spoolie is very firm. Like I don't feel like it's bendy or like flexy or anything. So. It definitely like gives you some strong brush strokes. And then on this side, of course, you have your pencil. Um, I want to say this is the dark brown. Oh no, it's number six. So girl, I don't know what color it is. I threw with it, I threw the box away, but I'm pretty sure it's like the dark brown. Like I try to stay away from like the blacks <laughs> because I feel like it's a little bit too harsh on my eyebrows because I already have really thick eyebrows um but yeah I definitely would repurchase this I have gone through one of these and this is a my second one so definitely recommend this so this one I am super super excited about this is the new Huda Beauty faux filter luminous matte foundation um I have mine in the color praline which is 63 in i am hoping that's focusing if it's not sorry but yeah this is color 6.3 in um y'all this foundation i'm actually wearing it today is the bomb i do want to actually play around and get like a shade or two lighter than this because i feel like this color is like my natural color so while it does kind of brighten my under eye and like brighten the areas that i you know put highlighter i mean put concealer on I do want to get like a shade or two lighter so that I can play around with the bright underline under eye look. Um, but literally like this concealer, it is literally the perfect consistency. Like it's not too liquidy. It's not too thick. But when you put it on, you know how with some concealers, you have to like wait for it to dry and wait for it to get tacky before you can blend it out and it gives you the enough enough coverage. No, this gives you coverage from jump, like literally a little bit goes a really really long way and you don't need to use a lot and you don't have to wait for it to dry either like when i'm telling y'all i put it under my eyes and like just kind of dabbed it and then blended it out and it was like completely like my under eyes and everything was just completely brightened up so definitely recommend this y'all i'm going to pick up another color um and a lighter color to play around with the bright under eye look so my yeah. next favorite find um, I think I picked this up during VIB because they were like heavily promoting this during VIB. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Fa Flawless Foundation. Um, I have mine in the shade 8.5, which honestly, it is a little orangey for me. But since I have such a weird tan right now, it's working, how it it's working out fine. So I'm probably going to have to just try to go through this um, this summer and just use it and then of course when the cooler weather starts i'm obviously going to go back to like my more natural color so i'll probably get a shade that has a little less of this like peachy undertone and get something a little bit more neutral because my undertones are pretty neutral for the most part but during the summer i do tend to have more of like a orangey like peachy 
type of look because I'm more tan so but yeah as far as the actual foundation itself y'all like literally like it lasts all day um the coverage is great it's easily buildable like it gives you a nice natural finish like a nice natural just glow like and I typically don't go super heavy on my coverage anyway so like I'm wearing it today and like I literally I just have it like I have a very very light light layer of this and then my concealer and then like my contour and bronzer and that's it so i mean the the foundation itself literally a little bit again a little bit goes a long way and um i would recommend going in store though to get your shade match and and not using the sephora um shade match tool because i did that and the first color that i got was like way 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 off and also their color scale like giorgio armani's color scale it doesn't necessarily go lightest to dark it kind of like jumps around. So I definitely recommend going in store and trying this one. And this does come in a mini size if you just wanna like try it out and see how you like it first before you commit to a full size. So I think this is a perfect uh, foundation for the summer because it just gives you that sun kiss like glow without having to put on a bunch of extra stuff. Cause I would definitely wear this by itself for sure. Like, and not do, con not do any concealer or bronzer or anything else. Um, it just looks really good by itself. Hey okay, so. y'all, the next thing I got is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. So this is a, um, this is a setting powder. Um, it has really great reviews and honestly, Charlotte Tilbury is just a very reputable brand. Um, I did use it today, I do like it a lot. I don't know how it does longevity wise because today is my first time using it so i will update you guys on if i feel like i have to reblot or something like that but um as far as the actual application and how it sets and locks my makeup in a plus like definitely give it an a so i also have the hollywood flawless filter from charlotte tilbury um i lucked up on this y'all because this has been sold out in my sephora and online in my shade for the longest time um so i did get this in number six which is the tan um i found that the 6.5 was a little too dark and the one right below the five and a half was like way too light and i just happened to be in the store one day and literally there was one number six left and i was like oh my god so i picked it up um y'all i love this like i love this on the days where i love this on the days where i don't want to do a full face because when i tell y'all this literally blurs your imperfections and on top of that oh look at me about to drop it <laughs> on top of that i really do actually love this underneath my makeup as well like it does it like perfects your pores it perfects like your imperfections like any dark spots um it almost acts as like literally a filter like a filter on instagram <laughs> and i like to put my foundation on top of it and it really just gives you like a flawless snatched look. So definitely highly recommend this by itself or with foundation. This is another foundation. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Um, I did pick this up during VIB. I like it. I, I feel like um, it is really great like for if you plan to take a lot of pictures or something like that. Um, I don't feel like it necessarily did anything to wow me to where I feel like I would need to purchase it again. Um, but I do love NARS products. This was just a new foundation in their line of foundation. Um, but I also don't use it enough either. Like it is supposed to be one of those foundations that like per perfects your skin over time. Like it has ingredients in it that are supposed to, um, perfect your skin and like brighten your skin and all this other stuff. So I don't really use this one every day. I really wear this one when I'm going out. Um, so I don't wear it enough to to tell you guys if it actually does that. But the foundation itself is good. Um, would I say it's amazing and groundbreaking and oh my God, this is the best foundation I've ever used? I probably would not say that, but it is good. Um, and I would repurchase it, but I would probably try other things before I went back and got this. So yeah. So this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Um, this is an all-in-one primer and moisturizer. Honestly, y'all, as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. Um, I love this stuff. Like, I love it. Like, it literally preps my face perfectly for makeup. 
I would say though, I would only use this as a strictly a primer if you're doing a very light coverage like tinted moisturizer or just bronzer or you know something like something super super light because if you plan on doing a full makeup look with this I would put this on first and then put a more like tacky type of primer on top of it because this is more so a moisturizer to me so it does help grip my makeup but when I used it um before like as my only primer I don't feel like it gripped my makeup as well and it just kind of felt like I was putting my makeup on top of a moisturizer instead of a primer if that makes sense. So this is great. I just don't think it's great by itself unless you are doing something basic like the Charlotte Tilbury filter or like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream or a CC cream. If you're doing a whole foundation look with concealer and you know contouring I would definitely put another primer on top of this but this is great so definitely pick this up okay so this is the fashion fair ff skin flex stick foundation um so i honestly have never used this brand before um oh by the way the color is rich brownie so i went into the store i don't know why all of my stuff is not focusing y'all i'm so sorry i went into the store to try the rare beauty bronzer sticks but as y'all know if y'all have tried to purchase those recently they have pretty much been sold out every shade and every color and online my it said my sephora had it but when i went in store they said no they're sold out so they said somebody probably stole it unfortunately um so i pretty much asked my essay i was just like well you know what are some other like options as far as like i, I was like i really want a cream based contour stick because I've been using like powder contours and I just don't really like the coverage no matter how much I put on and I just feel like it kind of like accentuates my pores more so I was like I really want to try a cream based contour. So this is basically a foundation stick but I got it um, in a shade much darker than me obviously so that I can use it as a contour and I really like it y'all like I don't know if y'all can tell but like I have it on right now and like you can see right here. I did put it directly on my face this time, which normally with contouring, um, contour sticks or any type of cream based product, I will put it on the back of my hand first and blend it out and then, you know, put it on. But I put this on my, um, I put this directly on my face today and it gave me no problems. It blended out flawlessly, like it went on smoothly and the color itself is really, really good. So I am very happy with this as my, um, contour stick right now and I definitely want to check out some other things by this brand because apparently this is a brand that has been around for a while and I've just never used anything from it so um, if y'all are familiar with fashion fair products and y'all have some products for me to try definitely recommend them below okay so this is the always be always an optimist always an optimist four in one mist it is a glow boosting mist that hydrates primes, sets and refreshes skin um, I have not used this as a primer and I have not used this by itself, but as far as a setting mist, like this is great. If you have a look that has a lot of layers, um, I feel like this helps to kind of blend everything together and pull everything together and give your face a nice natural glow. So I definitely want to try and use this a little bit more because I used it today and I was just like, wow, like this definitely can compete with my Urban Decay. So I'm gonna kind of, you know, use both back and forth and see which one I like the most. But um, this is the only rare beauty that I have been able to actually get my hands on in store so far. Um, I'm still waiting to find some other stuff in store so I can try it and swatch it out and see if I like it. So next thing I got is more Fenty Beauty because we love supporting Rihanna and just black owned brands in general, which, by the way, um, I need to follow up. So in my Ulta haul, I did say that that Black Radiance brand was black owned, but I actually found out it's not black owned. It seems to be that way because of how it's marketed, but it is marketed for black women, I guess, um, and black skin tones, and um, it's not actually black owned. So I just needed to correct myself there. But this is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Veil. Um, this is basically a... I guess kind of like another body shimmer or body bronzer or body glow. Um, I just picked this up honestly because it was on sale and I was like, ooh, this looks really, really pretty. But look at it, y'all. It is so glowy and nice. I'm going to swatch it. Okay, so I did have to go over it a couple of times to give like to swatch it out, but I mean, 
y'all can kind of see it looks really good I, f I feel like this is kind of like a more like natural type of glow because it doesn't it's not super super pigmented um but i do really really like it like i'm gonna play around with this a little bit more um and maybe like use it on my face as a you know bronzer highlighter i probably could have put it on my nose because i don't have anything on my nose today so um but yeah i'm trying not to make this video too too long oh by the way this is in the color cognac candy i think this is still on sale at sephora so i will link it below and link all of the other products below if the products are not linked immediately as soon as this video goes up they will be linked eventually at some point i probably will work on doing that while the video is uploading all right y'all so then another fenty beauty product um this is the gloss bomb dip clip on luminizer so y'all this is in the color hot chocolate i actually saw this at the cash wrap like you know how sephora has all the cute little mini stuff while you're waiting in line they just they just trying to drain your pockets child but i picked this up because i was like oh i finally see the gloss bomb in hot chocolate that's the color that i don't have and when i opened it and i got home i was like girl what is this this is obviously not gloss bomb um so this is my first time opening it and seeing i'm assuming this is like a lip stain type of thing um i don't know y'all i'm gonna I don't know if y'all have used this before let me know but it has like a little clip like you can clip it on somewhere that's kind of interesting I don't know what I would be clipping it on to but we're gonna see girl we'll try it and and we'll see if we like hey y'all we down to the last bag okay <laughs> all right so this is another Fenty Beauty product that was on sale this is the Fenty Beauty body lava body luminizer y'all I'm gonna tell you the, pro the pros and cons of this okay so pros super 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 shimmery pigmented beautiful like gives you a glow it is beautiful i mean look just look at the packaging look at the bottle like i always go for products like this in the summertime especially because i just always want to have a glow i always want to have a shimmer i always want to have a shine um and i i kind of put i put it on my arm earlier you probably can't see so i'm going to reapply it but y'all I would only I would only apply this with a brush or a sponge and I'm going to tell you why it is kind of like oil based but for some reason I've noticed it is very sticky and easily transferable so I would put this on with a brush or like a sponge or something like that and set it with a setting powder so that I mean a set it set it with a setting powder or set it with a um setting mist that's what i'm trying to say because to help lock it in because it is easily transferable and also once you put it on it is very hard to get off so this is definitely something i would put on if you're planning on being at the beach all day or planning on being at a pool or like just wanting to have an all day glow or like going out because this stuff is very very hard to get off so if you wear this to go out one night girl and you think you're gonna come home and take a shower and get it off you're gonna be scrubbing okay because that's literally my only drawback with this like it is very hard to get off and i really do want to put some on on camera for y'all but i also don't want to be trying to wash it all off my hands later so i'm not going to do that but just to know it comes out beautifully um and it is just the most gorgeous shimmer it also smells really good it's like a florally vanilla like a tropical floral vanilla and um it almost has like a perfumey vibe like that perfumey vibe that when you go to the spa the products that they use they just smell expensive like that's what this smells like to me so it smells amazing speaking of speaking of shimmery beautiful glow products that smell good let me bring out the two of my favorite products by one of my favorite brands that is sold at Sephora. And that is the Glow Motions by Sol de Janeiro. So I do have both colors. Um, the only color that I'm missing is the Carnival Queen, which is like a pink, like a rose gold type of color. And I really wanted that one, but that one, these are already hard to find in stock, honestly, but that color was like, soon as it dropped she was gone so i see it randomly pop up on the sephora app but for the most part i'm never able to add it to my cart unfortunately but i love both of these so much that i'm just like you know what girl i'm okay not having it so the copa the copa cabana bronze glow oil is actually what i'm wearing today i don't know if y'all can see but i just have like a really nice like shimmery um bronze and it has the cherosa 71 scent which is the scent that is in the boom boom cream so both of these smell amazing 
This one is uh, the this one is tinted transfer resistant. So that is a plus of this one over the body lava because this one does not transfer y'all at all. Like literally when I tell y'all I put it on, it does not come off on my clothes and stuff. And it just gives me that nice summery glow. Um, and then this one is the warm bronze tint. So it says for body, gently blend all over. For face, use as a highlighter or mix with foundation. Honestly, y'all, I would not use this on my face, okay? Body only, like, I, I don't know. Something about using scented products on my face bothers me. And especially something like this, I'm just like, I feel like you should just on the safe side, <laughs> use it on your body. Um, but it just smells amazing. And then this one right here is the Rio Sunset. So this one is more of like, that champagne like slightly shimmery like something where if you don't want to look too bronzed and you still want to shimmer that's this one uh, i will say this y'all you definitely do not want to use this after you've put on lotion like with that fenty one i feel like you probably should moisturize before but with this one this one is already so moisturizing um if you use a lotion it kind of dilutes it to where it's not as sparkly but this one is the translucent champagne shimmer and this one definitely still has that same um, smell. So this is the pump that it comes out to. And you just pump it, it comes out. It's really pretty. I did not mean to put that much on, but... So yeah, I know it looks a little like white and pasty at first. Um, but once you rub it in, girl... And I do have some lotion on my hands right now, so it might not give off its normal sheen and shine. But yeah. Okay, so yeah, y'all can kind of see, it's really just like a light sheen. It just really, on my skin tone, it just looks like you're just very, very moisturized and like in the light, you can kind of see the shimmer. Um, oh, it smells so good, oh my God, it smells so good. But I would use that one more so in the days where I just want like a light glow and I don't want to be like too bronze and things like that. And the darker one, I usually will use when I'm going out. Um, just because I feel like it gives me that nice bronzy, bronze goddess type of glow. So, but both of them are amazing. Both of them smell great. Like if you can find those y'all, pick them up, pick them up because they smell good. They just, oh my God, those are definitely like my summer favorite items, summer staples, all this that. This one I have already kind of talked about in a summer layering haul but this is the new tan lines uh and this one does not have a number on it like the normal sol de janeiro mist do um but i've already talked about it so i'm just going to talk about it kind of briefly on here the notes in this one are the late de coco warm sand solar tuberose lang lang and creamy vanilla and amber essence i know i said this i know i said this in my last video but it reminds me so much of like it's in the same realm as like Tom Ford, um, Soleil Blanc. It's just a little bit sweeter. It's just that very perfumey, like suntan, sunscreen type of smell, but it still smells sweet. It just smells really good. I have not gotten my hands on the other two, the sea, the sea and soul and the tropical nights. I really want to, but every time I go on my Sephora, they're sold out and they're still sold out online. So I should have scooped the other two up when I saw them, but I was like, uh, I'm just going to pick up the pink one right now and see if I like it. And of course, now the other two are always sold out. So the next one, which I meant to talk about, I don't know if I talked about this in my layering video. I feel like I did. Um, but this one is one that I had to get in the big bottle because I just love this one so much and I use it a lot. Um, this is the Cherosa 40, which is black amber plum and vanilla woods. Um, this is one that I feel like goes great in the summer or the cooler months because that vanilla woods is just such a warm and like cozy comforting scent but then that black amber plum is like fruity and just brings like some just lightness and like playfulness into the scent but it's just so sexy and it literally reminds me so much of vanilla woods by the seven virtues so this would be a great scent to pair with that but it just smells so good. It's got like a candied type of like candied peach smell almost. And then the woodiness of the amber and like the woods. It just smells so good, y'all. The last Cherosa 
item that I have. The last uh, Sol de Janeiro item I have. I feel like I've talked about this in a video, but I didn't go in depth. This is actually my number one favorite mist by them. Um, I wish it came in a body butter. Like I'm waiting on them to drop this in a body butter because I will snatch it up fast. And as you can see, I've put a dent in this. Um, this is one that I don't think comes in the larger size. Only a few of them come in the larger size, which I find so weird. So I just have to keep repurchasing the small one of this. But this is the Cherosa 71. This is the Caramelized Vanilla and Macadamia. Um, it just, y'all, it smells, the notes, listen to the notes, okay? The notes are caramelized vanilla, sea salt, toasted macadamia nut, white chocolate, tonka bean, and coconut blossom. Y'all, when I tell y'all every time I wear this, I'm going to spray it because why not? Y'all, I just had a whole coughing attack because I breathed it in after I sprayed it. Okay. But that just shows you how concentrated this is. Literally, it is so thick. Like for a fragrance mist, when I put this on... I had like an older lady come up to me and she was like, girl, what perfume do you have on? You smell expensive. I literally had this on with, um, I think whipped berry meringue, but I knew it was this taking over because this literally performs like a perfume. This could be a Bath and Body Works scent. I would say this is like the original Christmas cookies mixed with coconut cream by like if they had a baby, it would be Chirosa 71, okay? Like, oh my God, it's just so good and bakery and gourmand and warm and just like, you literally would wanna eat yourself, okay? That's all I have to say about it. So if you don't pick up any of the other Chirosa mists, get this one if you are a gourmand lover, okay? This is also another Sol de Janeiro item. Um, this is something that I keep in stock, y'all. This is the Boom Boom Cream. I mean, this one is almost done. I literally go through these so quick. Um, I, tr I prefer not to get the really big one just because I usually keep these in my bag just to like keep me moisturized during the day. Um, but I mean, this is literally a top tier body cream moisturizing wise, scent wise. I mean, literally you go on Sephora app or website right now, the reviews on this speak for themselves. So I don't even really have to go into it, but I mean, it is just, I feel like a staple and one of those items where if you are new to Sol de Janeiro, that is an item you definitely should start with and try it out and see how you like it before you try all of the other um, creams because that is the original. So another new item in my collection is the Pharmacy Green Clean. Um, this is the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I have used it once. I love it. And I, the only reason I haven't used it more is because I'm trying to get through um, an e.l.f. makeup cleansing balm that I have right now so that I can just strictly use this. But when I tell you literally like I just kind of it comes with a little spatula so you can take it out but honestly I just stick my finger in there and just like put it on my face melts my makeup off flawlessly like I feel like sometimes with cleansing bombs you have to like take a rag to wipe it all the way off but literally like you rub it in good enough and then you just take water like you can literally see like it's like a white film you can see your makeup coming off and I still double cleanse like I still will wash my face with an actual cleanser after I use the cleansing balm but it is a great step for like double cleansing <laughs> this is something that I think I picked up with my Ulta rewards um this is the Tatcha water cream so this one is supposed to be like a pore minimizing one so i have not used this yet but i did pick it up because i finished a tatcha dewy skin cream and i really 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 like that one like the one that came in the birthday package this year for sephora i really like that one so i decided to try one of these and then decide which one i like better before i went and purchased a full size of it because as y'all know those tatcha uh moisturizers are very expensive so yeah. okay so on to one of my favorite skincare brands, y'all. This is the Paula's Choice uh, Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Um, if you guys do not have an exfoliant in your skincare routine, sis, what are you doing? I have gone through that several, several times. And I mean, it's literally the best exfoliator ever. On days where I want just, it is gentle enough to use every day. Um, I personally only use it at night but I will use it sometimes before I do a makeup look just to kind of attack any texture that I have. And I feel like it kind of like unclogs my pores and just gives me a nice fresh canvas to work with, whether I'm going bare face for the day, whether I'm about to apply some other products, like it just makes my skin feel cleansed and clean. And it just, it doesn't sit heavily on the skin. And I do feel like it makes a huge difference in like the texture and size of my pores on my skin. So 
definitely pick that up if you are in need of an exfoliant. Um, and then speaking of polish choice, <laughs> this is the Advanced Replenishing Toner. Um, this is another item that I have repurchased that I really, really love. This is for normal to dry skin. Um, I mean, honestly, y'all, like I said, I prefer for my toners to be very no fuss, no added chemicals. And this has hyaluronic acid, which is very moisturizing. Um, I don't use a cotton pad or anything with this. I literally just like it comes out. It doesn't come out super fast like most toners. So that's what I really like about it. And it comes out kind of thick. It's like a milky texture. And I just kind of put it on my face and my face is instantly just like moisturized and, and, and feels great and feels replenished and it's ready for the next step in my skincare routine. So this is definitely a toner that I recommend picking up if you have sensitive skin or you just want a toner that does not have a whole bunch of added um, actives in it. I told y'all when I love a brand or a product, I will buy up all the products in line, okay? But this is the Polish Choice Resist um, Daily Extending Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid with Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Antioxidants Soothing Plant Extracts. So um, it says water light fluid minimizes the appearance of pores, helps prevent UV damage and signs of aging. This is probably, I would say, my favorite everyday SPF slash moisturizer because I feel like when I wear this, I don't have to put a moisturizer on underneath. This doubles as my moisturizer and my SPF. And I feel like it does not sit heavily on my skin. It does not leave a white cast. Like literally, I feel like my skin just absorbs it and it's there. Like my skin doesn't necessarily feel like super, super, super hydrated to where it's like dewy or anything, but it literally like my skin feels hydrated and it's not sitting on top of my skin, if it makes sense. Like my skin literally drinks this up and the fact that it's SPF 50, like I love that because it's so easy for me to layer this under my makeup. It's so easy for me to wear this by itself and put something else on top of it. Like this is definitely a perfect SPF if you want something non-greasy, non-oily, that does not leave a white cast on your face. So for my girls who are a little bit darker in complexion, girl, try her out, okay? Try her out. The last Polish Choice item that I have is the 20% niacinamide treatment. Um, if you are someone that deals with redness or you have rosacea or you have a lot of like inflamed or, you know, enlarged type of like just breakouts or anything like that on your skin and your skin's pH balance is just not right, niacinamide is your girl, okay? This is one of those things that I feel like it's okay to mix into your skin regimen with other things because while it's an active, it's not one of those active that's like going to like disrupt your skin or do anything crazy to your skin. I feel like niacinamide is more calming than anything. Um, it says it dramatically reduces the look of pores and reinforces elasticity. So yes, I would definitely agree with that. Um, this is another one that I only use at night and I am very happy with the results of this. I usually use this once or twice a week. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just another great product. Polish Choice just has all around great products. I just feel like it's best to know what you are targeting specifically before you go in there trying to buy up all of her products because it can be a little overwhelming because there's literally something for everybody in there. So, yeah. so this is the Super Goop Every Single Face. This is a new SPF in my, in my collection that I love, okay? First of all, the packaging is so cute. So freaking cute. It's another sunscreen that Supergroup is another brand that's just great for SPF, but that one is very moisturizing. If you feel like your skin is dry on a particular day, I would definitely go for that one because I do feel like it's a little bit thicker than that Polish Choice one. The Polish Choice one is like kind of watery in a way, whereas this one is more of like a thicker lotion, but it, again, it does not leave a white cast. It kind of goes into my skin really, really well, and it's non-irritating. It doesn't have like a strong smell or anything, um, and I like it a lot. So I definitely recommend trying that one out. So this is the First Aid Beauty Fab Ingrown Hair Pads. This is just a small little container, but I will be repurchasing the large one. I just don't use these every day. So usually one of these, um, it has 28 pads in it. It usually lasts me like sometimes two months. Um, but if you are prone to ingrowns, my girl, like, whether you get waxes, whether you shave, laser, whatever. If you are, if you have ingrown prone skin, 
these are a lifesaver okay like literally when i tell you like you can use this under your arms you can use it on your bikini area your legs like this is bomb like when i tell you if you have an ingrown and you use one of these i promise you if it's not completely gone the next day it will just be completely diminished in size the next day and i i usually use these after i shave like immediately after i shave so that i can prevent ingrowns from coming and y'all this this is a must-have if not year-round especially during the summer okay another first first aid beauty product which i'm probably about to have in an empties video because as you can see i use this primarily at night because it is so rich and thick this is the ultra repair firming collagen cream um i listen bomb okay if you have a super active intense skin nighttime skincare routine or you use something that you feel is stripping your skin this will bring your skin back to life honey like when i tell you a little bit goes a long way and your skin just feels nourished and you just have a beautiful glow like this is just she's thick don't get me wrong but girl she will get the skin together if you're feeling dry she will get you together okay i mean that's literally all i have to say about this and it doesn't sit on your skin it you know how sometimes with thicker moisturizers like it sits on top of your skin and you feel like a film no honey your skin will drink this up okay you need it i promise Last item that i got i did pick this up during the sephora vib sale because it is quite pricey um these are the dr dennis Gro gross extra strength daily peel um this does come in just regular strength but since i had gotten used to the regular strength ones i went ahead and upgraded to the extra strength and even still i don't use these every single day um it says that they're light enough to, and gentle enough to use every day but i just know how my skin is with too many actives so i just prefer to use this like maybe twice two or three times a week at night specifically um but these basically it says use if you have oily skin or imperfections uneven tone or texture wrinkles or enlarged pores and use if you want balanced clear bright smooth skin and immediate radiance so y'all if you feel like your skin is dull if you feel like you have a lot of texture if you feel like your pores are really big this is bomb even with acne prone skin if you have a breakout literally your skin you will see an immediate difference y'all i promise you like you can literally look at the reviews on here like when i tell you i suffer from like dark spots and texture and hyperpigmentation this has helped tremendously with evening out my overall skin tone with fading my dark marks with like attacking the texture in my skin so basically the way that it works the first one is like a little pad and it's like it's literally like an at-home chemical peel like you take it and you just you do the first one you just kind of do apply light pressure then you wait two minutes and then you do the second one y'all it's just so good it is just so good like it's one of those things you have to try it see how it works for your skin but i feel like for the most part it's just bomb okay all right y'all that is it i know this haul was so so long this is probably my longest haul to date um but y'all i just love sephora products and i'm literally in there all the time so there's probably some stuff that i kind of forgot to even include in this haul that's either in my bathroom or in my car or somewhere else so these are probably my most used products aside from the new products that i'm trying to see if i like so i tried to include all of those um but yeah if y'all have any questions comments concerns let me know please subscribe if you're not subscribed thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all let me know in the comments what y'all want to see from me next and i really appreciate y'all bye